Hi everyone, James Pickles here from the Fast and Safeti product management team. In this video I'm going to explain how to import shapes from Google Earth and use them as population objects in Safeti. Before you start this process you must have a coordinate reference system and a geo-reference map defined in your study. If you're unsure how to do this then please go to our website where you will find a range of videos explaining how to do that. Alternatively, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is DMVGL Digital Solutions, where you will also find the same videos explaining how to do it. Once you have a coordinate reference system defined and a geo-reference map in your study, you can begin the process of importing shapes into Safeti. So within Google Earth here, I have three shapes to represent populations. And you can see in the tree on the left hand side of Google Earth, we have an entry here for each population. So the first step is to save these populations as KML or KMZ files. So you need to right click on the folder that contains the populations and then click save place as. Then I want you to save this file in a location on your C drive and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it example populations. And then if you're saving multiple shapes, save it as a KMZ file. If you're saving just one shape you can save it as a KML file. So I'm going to save mine as a KMZ file, click save and then now that's ready for import into Safeti. So within Safeti on the map tab right click on Safeti, insert external connection. Then in this list here of connection types select KML and then next to the KML file field, select browse and select the KMZ or KML file that you've just saved from Google Earth. Click open and then click OK. Then in the tree on the map tab, right click on this KML connection, insert feature class. In this dialog that appears, select this entry in the in the feature classes, click add and then you can see on the map here we have these three population uh, KMZ shapes that have, that have come from Google Earth. Now at this stage in the process those shapes can't actually be used as populations within the study so there's a step that we have to go through to, to enable them to be used. So what I want you to do is on the GIS input uh, uh, window, on the on the ribbon bar, I just want you to select the uh, select icon, and then just drag a box around these population KMZ objects. That will highlight the objects, and then just select shape file on the ribbon bar. And then this is going to save these KMZ shapes as shape files. So within a folder on your C drive, I'm going to use the same folder where I saved the KMZ. You don't have to, it can be a separate folder. And just give your shape file a name. So again, I'm going to call it example populations. And then this will be saved as an SHP file. Click save. And then now on the wrist tab, right click on the populations folder and then click insert from data source then in this list select arc view and then next to the arc view workspace folder field click browse and then just browse to the location of the shape file And then highlight the folder that contains the shape file. So this folder here contains my shape file that I've just saved. And then click OK. 
click OK again. Then in this dialog that appears, just select this example populations entry, click show table preview. Then in this name field, down at the bottom left of this dialog, just select GAV primary key. So what that's going to do is when the populations are imported, the populations will be called one, two, three. Click next, click next, click finish. And then now you can see in the tree on the left hand side, within the populations folder, we have three population objects. And then you can see them also on the map. And then you can proceed to editing those populations and defining the number of people located in each area or population. Thank you for listening. And if you'd like to get in touch, please email digital at dnvgl.com.